Hello guys, today we will use Alcus to simulate a pig. Let me show the results. The simulation we will use the the hinge connector. Now let's look at the model. We just import the hinge part from STP file. Let's look at the two parts. Then we define the steel material and elastic modulus 210 feet pass and the partial ratio 0.3 and we create a solid friction and assign it to the part. The two parts have the same friction property. Then we assembly them together. In the step module, we create a static general step. And we open the non geometry and the implementation increment size set to one zero. Click OK. And then in the interaction module. We will create the section, the hinge connector section, as we can see, create connector section and we choose the hinge and we can see the diagram to comprehend it. Uh, as we can see, the two parts can rotate about the x axis. It is a local coordinate system. And the other connect freedom and dual freedom are constrained. Here we can add elasticity damping and plasticity and other properties. Here we get the default property. And then we need to create two reference points for each of the parts. And we get the two reference points at the same, po same location. As we can see, it is in the middle of the cylinder. One, two. There are two reference points here. Then we need to create a local system. We can Choose the reference point as the origin and the y direction as the x axis. So it's zero one zero. As we can see, oh.
it is on the y-axis so it's one and zero one zero and this is the point to be in the x-y plane so it gets one zero zero then we can the x axis is in the in this direction. If we have created the reference point, we need to create two copying constraints. As we can see, uh, I have created the structural distributing copy constraint, uh, and the control point is uh, one of the reference points. The surfaces are the interface of the cylinder. This coupling constraint constraint the degree of freedom of the rotation and the other one is also the same it's for the other part it's also structural distributing coupling constraint After we have created the coupling constraints, we can create the connector. Connect builder. We choose one of the reference points. Then we choose the other reference point. Then we set in the connect section. It is a hinge type. And then we need to the need, need the X and local coordinate system. Then we need to click OK. Then we click OK and create it. And it will create the hinge connector. Then we go to the load module. In this module, we define the boundary condition. First, we choose the two reference points and constrain the degree of freedom except for the UR2. And then, we give one of the reference points a rotation of the UR2 and it is mm, 2.0943 then we click OK and complete the boundary condition definition then we need to mesh the path. We set the mesh to tight shape and give the element size of 5 and mesh the part. The other part, we also give the element size of 5 and 
element shift then we can see the assembly and the mesh after this we can create the hand job and submit it for completion it will not take a long time then we get the result and you can see the animation as we can see we um, have created the hinge connection and the hinge uh, move as we expected so today we and through the simple simulation case and learned how to define the hinge connector uh, if you like the, vid the video and um, just just uh, click the subscribe the down uh, download it and uh, like it Okay, thanks for watching.